friends. Today we will be going to Spain. Uh, episode 6. Here we go. We got, have a lot to do. We got some money. So we're going to upgrade some facilities. We are going to put in some new parts for research and development. Sign up for some new activities. And then we'll get to the race here. So these are our sponsors. Uh, we'll take a look at the standings here. We're sitting in 8th. We almost got points last race but didn't quite. We're 14th in the standings with two points, so that's not bad. We got, we'll just take a look here. I wanted to look at our teammate as well. So as you can see, we got 14th, 9th, 21, 11, or 13 and 11, so that's not bad. We've come close to getting points a few times, um, but we haven't yet. So, so or we did, we did at... Uh, the second one so we're going to Spain here I sorry I keep calling it the second one I just don't know how to pronounce that and I know people get upset when I don't know how to pronounce stuff so uh, our teammate here looking back at what he's done he has not finished outside the top 20 yet but he's definitely not doing as well as I would like uh, he's not he's certainly not competing with us he's beat us in one race so I, I think we might be looking for a new teammate after this season I'm gonna try to keep him on for the whole year but uh, what were we gonna look at oh yeah our rivalry here with Kimi Raikkonen um, we need to get 30 points uh, we're currently at 14 he's at 10 and we have four races remaining so you know, I, I think I think it's going to be a close one, but I do think that we have a chance of beating Kimmy here. And then this is just a look at all the stuff that we have here. Our average grid is 17, and our average finish is 13, so that's good. We've, on average, finished better than we started, which is, of course, what our goal is. Um, we have no fastest laps, of course. And... Yeah, so with that being said, that is all the stuff that we have to look at here. Obviously, we fitted new parts last episode, which was exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, at some point in here, we'll probably have to buy some new parts, but we're not going to do that yet. And we don't have any R&D in progress right now. Uh, our, our chassis is severely lacking here, so we're definitely going to throw in at least one chassis development here. And that's what we're going to do for now. I don't know if we have enough for anything else. We need 1,000 for any more uh, upgrades in the powertrain, but I would definitely be willing to do that sometime soon. We don't have enough for another Aero 1 here. Do we? Nope. Don't have enough for another Aero 1. We could throw in a Durability 1. Um, ice Durability, I don't know. Well, I don't think we need that Turbo Durability. I think we could maybe go for that. So we'll put that one in there. Uh, we're now down to 20 research and development points. Uh, so that's not ideal. But it'll have to work. And we are going to upgrade here. I, I've heard that upgrading your resource point generation is pretty good. Um, our durability is our best department for some reason. Which is not exactly what we're looking for. Um, what else could we upgrade here? to make our team a little better. I don't think I want to do either of these. I think I'd like to focus on the actual car for now. Obviously, powertrain is what we most likely are are going for here. Um, so we could upgrade our resource point generation. That wouldn't be too bad. Improve build time to all upgrades by 20%. Um, spontaneous up, or oh, oh. And we can do simultaneous upgrades if we do that one. Um, I think I think we're gonna try to get some more resource resource points. Is what we're looking at. I I think we're gonna do that. That'll be here on the 9th of May. So after this week, we'll have that. Uh, we can only schedule two. We have a pretty short time in between here. Um, could upgrade our second person here uh, give our department some more, more morale or we could increase our acclaim um, I reckon we are gonna go for um, I think we're gonna do our acclaim here our, our second driver hasn't been doing very well I don't think he deserves any upgrades and with that being said I think that's all we have to do uh, we're just gonna head to Barcelona here all right, so in qualifying, we were about three seconds off the pace of Lewis Hamilton. 
uh, our supreme leader and <laughs> qualified in 17th place. Jordan qualified 20th. Uh, he was about five tenths off of us. So that's that's where we're at right now. And yeah, we will see what we can do in the actual GP here. Welcome along then to what promises to be another fascinating Spanish Grand Prix. A race which saw Max Verstappen win on his first ever appearance with the Red Bull team in 2016. This after the dramatic coming together of Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg on the first lap. Will we see more moments for the scrapbook here today? It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730 meter sprint down to turn one at this 2.9 mile racetrack. Overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. Why don't we start by talking about Valtteri Bottas? That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? There are never any guarantees in this business, but certainly the performance last time out would have boosted their confidence coming into this one. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position with Charles Leclerc alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Verstappen, Alexander Albon, and Vettel, Norris, Ocon, Perez, and Pierre Gasly, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Daniel Ricciardo, and Kvyat, Grosjean, Iceman, Carlos Sainz, and Kevin Magnussen, Russell, King, Raikkonen, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Let's get it started in high. Okay, that was cringe. Anyway, here we go. Should have a pretty good setup because I did the program during practice to get the to get the good strat going here. Uh, pretty pretty excited about this. I think it should go well. I don't know. Looks like we had some penalties as well on the grid, so that's interesting to see. Got our teammate behind us. Oh, looks like Kimmy's in 21st back there too. All right, so as we get going here, I was thinking about two things uh, during that formation lap, and we'll see if I can remember both of them, but one of them was, I just want to say thank you guys for supporting this series. I have really, really enjoyed making these episodes for you guys, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching them. Um, honestly, just a really, really good time making these episodes. I haven't had this much fun in the, ch in the ch with the channel in a while, so thank you for that. And I can't remember what the second thing is, so with that being said, here we go. Five red lights and we're underway. Put it on the rich mix. Actually, I'm not gonna corner. Can't hammer it in too much. Okay. Okay, just gonna get bodied into the corner by some idiot who has no idea how to drive. It's amazing. Love to see that. Okay, car on the high side, but we got it out of there. Turn on some overtake here. Honestly, not a great start, but not terrible. Not too bad at all. 14th place obviously our goal here like I said it's just to finish better every single race that's our overarching goal in the career I'd also like to win a championship at some point um, but at this point I don't know at least for this race this is a pretty balanced racetrack I think I've heard that the AI is really fast here uh, in Spain but I, I do want to hopefully get some points here this race. I think we got a pretty good shot. Okay. A little, little risky there, though. It's funny that uh, Kimi performed so much worse than uh, Giovinazzi here. I, like, uh, they're teammates, aren't they? I think so. I think they're on the same team. Could be wrong, though. Um, I... Uh, right I think they're teammates I don't know but like week in and week out Giovinazzi on this game is pretty much better than Kimi which is interesting to see but I don't know we're not gonna worry about that for now look at how much faster they are on the straights than us but like that that might kill us a little bit this race is that super long front stretch I don't know so I was playing this game in front of my mom 
first first online race and my mom was sitting right next to me. I didn't know there was a scam chat in this game. Some kid comes on the mic, just has, <laughs> blares the F word like five times. It's like, okay, maybe let's not do that. I thought this was supposed to be a gentleman's sport, guys. Come on. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, kind of funny. Anyways, I don't know. Once once we get DRS, if we can stay within a second of this man, I think we... Okay, wow. Blazing into that corner. That was way too aggressive. Collision? When did I hit this man? I didn't, I didn't hit him. I mean, I did take him way too hard, but... I don't know, I'll do what I must. <laughs> I also found out uh, via the tips and tricks that making making blocks in F1 is not uh, sportsmanlike. Did, did not know that, actually. The more you know. Alright, we're going to try to just... Okay, there you go. Hopefully that gained us just a wee bit of time there. I've heard from uh, people in Discord that I'm not supposed to change my engine parts. However, it is too late for that, obviously. <laughs> Mistakes may have been made. But I think you're supposed to get around six races. I did not. But I don't know. I don't know. We're out here. We're out here living our best life for now. As, as my friend Caleb would say, that's future me's problem. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'll face consequences for that later, but looks like we're we're coming up on a DRS zone here. Okay, Stroll is gonna try some stupid crap. Okay, nice little overtake there. A little bit aggressive. Awesome overtake there. A little bit of a collision. I felt a little bit on that one, but that was a much cleaner overtake. And we are, are we in point, no, we're one spot out of, out of point standings here. I believe we're going to pit around lap six as well. I, we do that, that's, that's when we usually, uh, that's when we usually pit is around lap six. Obviously this track is a little bit shorter, so we have more laps, but. You know what I was thinking about? Somebody in the somebody in the comments will have to answer this question for me because I, I really don't know. So NASCAR races, you know, they're all based around um, like length, like they're all you know Daytona 500, like 500 miles. Um, you know, Sharpie Sharpie 500 at uh, Bristol, that's 200 laps, 500 mi or 500 laps, 500 miles. Daytona 500 is 200 laps, but how does that work with? Uh, with F1, because I know they don't have like, like sponsored named races like that kind of thing, like NASCAR does. I I think, unless I'm just missing that. But like, how long is an F1 race? I know they're around two hours in length, maybe a little bit less, somewhere around there. I don't know. Interesting, interesting thought there. But okay, I'm feeling pretty good. We don't have any damage, do we? No, we don't. So that is that is excellent. Car in front of us, but about uh, about 0.6 to the car behind, a little bit less. Just gaining on us after we took off that uh, overtake there, but I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't, I don't know if this will be a points race because obviously Pierre Gasly uh, obviously has much more speed than we do. But 11th place, that's not bad either. As long as we don't make any mistakes. Have a quick pit stop. I don't know, man. I feel like we could do kind of decent here. I think we're gonna start losing some tire grip. Okay, if we're losing tire grip, we should probably bring it in here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely okay. I felt that. Yeah, maybe I should bring it in this lap. I was planning on bringing it in next lap, but we're clearly losing some grip here, and that is not what we want to be doing. Oh, okay, missed the pit lane. Awesome. 
was looking at my tire where to see when I should pit, and then I missed pit lane. So, guess that, uh, guess that gave me the option there. <laughs> Stroll is gonna attempt to overtake us, and he got in there. He got position. I didn't give it. I closed the door, and that was a stupid racing move. I I should not have done that. Hopefully, did it cost us any damage? No. So we're okay. It's funny, I saw a meme uh, today that was like the front the front part of the car is like it's built like glass and the back part is just like a tank in this game. I was like, yeah, it's, that's about accurate. It's about accurate. Alright, so we gave up the position to stroll there. Oh, actually we were in 10th. Interesting. So maybe we will get points. It sucks though. He got out in front of us, obviously, and then it took so much. Just like so much he gained on us, but. And then Ricardo's catching us from the back, too. You know, I'm not feeling really confident about where we're at right now. <laughs> Not the best pit road entry of all time, if you can believe it. That was not the best pit road entry we've ever had. We'll see what we can do. I don't know. I, I would like to get points this race. Doesn't seem super likely, but we'll, we'll, we'll try our best. The AI is really fast on this track. I, I read that online because I was looking at setups to do, and I didn't end up doing one, but I was looking at stuff like that, like, and it said that the AI is notoriously very good on this game. But we well, had about five seconds to Sergio up there, which isn't that much. I don't know. We, I don't know. Did they not? Did okay. We got us. We gained a second on Ricardo. That's good. I don't know what happened to Stroll. Did he? Did he get a? He might have done something with his, like, did he get wing damage and have to replace? He might have. I don't know. That's what you get racing with decaf, buddy. Don't step to me. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm feeling pretty good about where we're at, though. We're not in points, obviously, right now because we are on a pit cycle, but... I, I think, I think, honestly, we will be in a points position if we when we get when we get back around here I could be wrong though man that chicane slows me down we got Monaco coming up next I don't know how that how that works if that's a good track for you know the actual user or if it's a good track for the AI be interesting to see but oh no stroke came out in front of us barely though might get him here No, dang it! I took that, ah, took that corner horribly. I want to run this man down so bad. Okay, so did somebody in front of us still not pit, or did we just lose a position on the pits? I don't know how that would happen because he. I don't know how that would happen. To be honest. You know what I was kind of wondering? I don't. I can't remember if I said this the last episode as well. I, I might have. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So somebody is in. Okay. Ooh, sheesh. Took that in way too deep. Way too deep. Gonna play out for us fairly decent, but probably should have been more careful there. Anyways, I was thinking about this. What if we flipped our strategy? I don't know if that would be beneficial at all. I don't know if that's a thing people do, but if we came out on the mediums and then ran ran the softs at the end I don't know if that'd be beneficial that's that's a good question I think but all right we gain a second on stroll that was kind of a dirty maneuver but I don't really feel that bad about it no nobody else did come in because oh oh Bottas is out that puts us in points okay okay He's right there. Interesting. 
So just just like that, we're in points. Not bad. Now we just gotta hold on to this. I don't know if I'm really confident with our ability to hold on to it, to be honest. We're over halfway done now. But he I don't know, man. They the AI is fast on this track. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to whoever I read that on, on the internet. The AI is they're not slow. <laughs> But, okay, that was a terrible corner. I, that was not good. Tried to go, tried to go uh, swap ends on that corner, I guess, but. Okay. Never real fast there on that chicane. <laughs> I don't know, there, I, we gained time on that lap. How did we gain time? Well, that, that was a horrible lap. I don't know. Well, we we gained to the cars behind us at least. I don't know about in front of us. But man, if I could finish tenth, I'd be a happy Chad lad here. Very happy Chad lad. Okay, gap ahead is 3.4 seconds. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can get somebody in front of us out of the race again. Let's see if we can get in two in one race. Ah, that would be amazing. Give us give us two more championship points. That'll probably that'll probably move us up in the standings a little bit. Having just that one more point, maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. Cause it's always kind of the same people getting points. There's probably we're we're definitely at the lower end of people getting points, but we might get a spot or two. We're eighth right now in the constructors with a whopping total of two, and we are fourteenth in the drivers with another whopping total of two. So we're really cruising, as you can see. I don't know. It's going to be hard to unseed Mercedes in this game. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. It's going to be quite the quite the journey, and I suspect uh, Jordan King will not be with us the entire time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's 10.5 behind us. We got a pretty nice gap here now on Stroll. Not bad. Oh, he got overtaken by Ricardo. We're definitely going to beat Kimmy. Definitely going to beat Kimmy. Unless we absolutely flub this up. <laughs> but, yeah, they're, they're battling back there. So that's that works well for us. We, we've gained about two and a half seconds on them already. So that, that works really well for us. We're losing time to the car in front of us. But that's that's okay. I'm perfectly happy with where we sit. A points paid Noah is a happy Noah, um, or Chad, I guess in this in this game. But okay, now we're losing time to the car behind us, which is not what we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, boy, Lance Stroll just really fell off. I guess I guess Stroll must have been slower than Ricardo and was holding him up there. But hopefully. Hopefully Ricardo just keeps keeps on sucking. <laughs> nah, not, not keeps on sucking. Keeps on staying back there. Put on a little bit of rich fuel there. We're just gonna gun it down this that stretch there. Use up a bunch of ERS, but got to do what you got to do. All right, man. Look at this. We're killing this game, bro. Who'd have thought? Not me. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is a good time, honestly. It's just like uh, since I even got this game, like li literally like two weeks ago, I've gotten so much better at it. It's there, it's such a learning curve, but once you get, once you get once you get going, you're you're getting okay. I'm pretty happy about like the difficulty that we're at too. I I think it's pretty fair. We don't just catch people. Really, most of our most of our spots basically come off of the uh, come off of the start there. Which is probably how it should be. Okay. And alright. Got five to go. So let's ask Mr. I don't usually ask him very much, but 
Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Just forget that, because I don't know how to use that thing. I, I genuinely have no idea how to use the R1 menu. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna ask him how much, uh, how much gas we have left in this bad boy. I don't think they refuel. I, re I really don't. I, again, I could be completely wrong about that. But I, I don't think they refuel in F1. It's gonna be crazy in 2022 when the NASCAR gets the new one lug nut wheels. Cause it's gonna be like, it's literally gonna be like F1 pit stops. Except with gas, obviously. If I'm right about that, that's Jesus. <laughs> I don't know. He's gained about two tenths on me since I was talking about that, but I don't know. Sorry, it's kind of low energy right now too. Just you know, it's pretty late. You know, I'm, I'm a little tired, and we're just kind of sitting here in between everybody, which I'm pretty happy about. To be honest, I'd rather be. Just chilling here than be fending somebody off from behind, you know. I'm I'm thankful for that, but wish we could catch Mr. Gasly up here. Just gun it with a little little uh, ERS down the front stretch or overtake. I I get them so confused. I know they're not the same thing, obviously, but they're so connected. Like the ERS just gets eaten by that overtake. It's basically using ERS when you do that, but. I don't know, I think that's about all we can afford to just not use any overtake the rest of the track and then and then when we get back to that front stretch, use it all. I don't think that's a terrible strategy to be honest. But, I don't know. We're sitting pretty comfortably, honestly, uh, between, or between Ricardo and, uh, and Gasly. Like, I... I we're losing a little bit, but not by that much, honestly, to the car in front, and we're not really losing time to the car behind us. I guess we did there a little bit since I said that, but we're not losing much time to the car behind us. Looks like Stroll got overtaken again. Carlos, as long as I can keep him at, at least a second behind me, I don't think we'll have any issues. But we'll, if he gets within a second. We might have some problems, I'm not going to lie to you. Put it on a little rich mixer. I don't know what that, is that plus like how much we can, how much we have to the, uh, to the finish, if you guys know what I mean, like, like we have, uh, over point, we have point eight over the amount of fuel that we have left in the, in the race. I think that's probably what that means. I could be wrong, but I guess that's what that means. I don't know. Anyways. Okay, keep pushing here. Going under the Rolex bridge there. I don't know, I'm going to look stupid at Monaco too, because I know it's like a famous racetrack, but I know nothing about it other than it was in Iron Man 2. <laughs> it was in Iron Man 2, right? I go to the Monaco Grand Prix. I think it was. Which is pretty cool, to be honest. That's... That's one of my favorite scenes in an MCU movie. That scene of Monaco. Yeah, that's definitely it. That's definitely it, uh, Monaco. I don't know. I just think that's kind of cool. Anyways. Stop talking about Iron Man. <laughs> oh, crap. We're losing a ton of time. Alright, let's, let's put our A game in here. Let's get ready to go. Five tenths a lap. The good news is, uh, that's not that's not enough to catch me. However, if he gets within a second, we could have some issues. Not gonna lie. Do we get less power when our URS is low? Like, should I just stop using that overtake? Maybe that might be a good plan. Last lap, we're probably gonna go all out for fuel as well. Is my plan. Okay. I don't know, I'm focusing too much on just talking instead of actually driving the wheels off this thing. How are we? Speaking of the wheels, 36%? It's not too bad. Okay, 
Okay, so he's definitely gaining on me. Except now we we gained a little bit back there actually. After I said that. Um. Okay. If we can keep him without it, about at least a second minus. I said that before, but a second is the real cutoff here. Thirty-seven percent on the ERS. Awesome. I'm gonna cut it at fifteen. Final lap here, put it on the rich. Hopefully not run out. And hopefully we can just run away with this thing a little bit. Okay, he's almost within a second now. His straightaway speed, he's just got so much more than us. Either, I don't know where those Reynos sit in like the power rankings, but... Looks like we're going to have... One lap of fuel remaining, that's fine by me. Oh crap, he's within a second here. Now we should, I think we should be okay. Oh shoot, 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 he's 0 .5, 0 .5. Okay, let's fend him off here. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, that's not what I was looking for at all. That's really unfortunate. And here we go. Into the little chicane here. And that's not even a chicane. It's not even a chicane. I thought that was a chicane. Okay. And we're going to be good here. We're going to be good. All right, awesome. Fended him off. Not bad. That is a points-paying race. Tenth place. Awesome. That is... That is about as well as it could have gone, to be honest. And driver of the day. Third week in a row. Amazing. Amazing. I'm, I'm very happy about that. Um, a Ferrari one? A Ferrari one is what you're telling me. That is the first time in this career mode that it has not been a McLaren. Charles Leclerc. Awesome. Sorry, I'm talking. I just, that was crazy. performance at today's Grand Prix and there's certainly a team that know what they're doing out there you best believe I'm not getting copyrighted for that music <laughs> you are sorely mistaken if you think I'm getting copyrighted from that music I think I'm gonna buy the podium pass by the way that's super random and not necessary to say but I think I am all right so we get a point let's see where our teammate is 18th all right so he's still staying out of that uh in the top 20 range there not bad not bad and no mercedes no mercedes were on the podium lewis hamilton got fourth and he was blazing fast in qualifying and then Bottas obviously dnf'd no mercedes podium that's amazing i you love to see it honestly you love to see it oh we got an interview not bad not bad. Not really. I had a power advantage. That's completely false. The car is a grace of, of a ballet dancer. That's not really. So much more grip. There's no struggle. I just push as hard as I can. That's that's what we're looking for. Durability. Awesome. I am exceeding. Maybe they should expect more. <laughs> F1 is a team sport. We put in an extreme amount of effort. The standard of racing from all drivers has been high this season. We're not doing that one. Uh, I I think we're just going to be pretty bold here, to be honest. My claim. Anyway, I feel the season is going for you. Is the car competitive? Team's really gelling. I think it's going to be a great season. So long as the car doesn't wear out too fast, I think we'll do okay. The car is great. But I think we'll need to develop the chassis to stay competitive. With a bit of development to the power unit, I think we'll get there. Um, I think it's going to be a great season. If the car doesn't wear, I think I think we're going to do that one. Honestly, one thing. Hang on. Before I answer this question, I was going to ask this. 
isn't there like a personality thing in this game maybe there's not maybe that was just 2019 but i know when we did interviews there was like personality traits that you could develop maybe that's in the driver career i don't know do you have any comments about the collisions lack of downforce made it really hard to avoid drivers during overtakes. inconsistent power delivery made overtaking pretty dangerous it wasn't delivered but the car wasn't nimble enough to avoid it the wear on my car was making it a bit unpredictable i'm not gonna say that one ah uh, let's see i'm gonna say i'm gonna say uh a lack of a lack of downforce we'll say that none of those are really good answers but thank you for appreciating my time all right now let's see if we can get to the uh to the rivalry screen here that was what i was actually looking for it's really awkward when i just have to sit here and talk through a black screen okay here we go all right so Oh wait, okay, okay, we're good. 20 points, awesome, so we're definitely gonna, it looks like we're gonna beat him at least. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about the way that that's going. Should get over five acclaim here. Should take us to six, right? Yeah, there we go, awesome, awesome. Yeah, how did he get more acclaim than me? How did he get more acclaim than me? You tell me. Anyways, oh, if we would've drove two more laps, no DNFs within the team, that's gonna be really easy to get. 100K. Not bad. I, how are we getting less? Okay. How is he making as much money as we are? I. This game dumb. This game big dumb. Anyway. So yeah, yeah. That this is that went pretty well. That went pretty well. I'm I'm happy with the points that we got there. Okay, so this is interesting. We don't have enough cash to afford our teammates' contract renewal. However. Okay, however. Well, first first we're going to look at that, and then we'll get into the however. So we got a couple things. We just have one thing, I guess, coming in this week. I'm pretty excited to see that come in here, obviously. Uh, we're not going to be messing with any of this. Um, we're not, we don't have enough money for that, obviously, and we need to re-sign our teammate. Our aerodynamics morale is poor. That's probably because I said that thing. We passed Alpha Tori in the uh, performance comparison. Next up is Reno. That is awesome. I'm excited to see that. We're we're now one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh. Seventh in uh vehicle performance. That's really good to see. We got two things in development here. We'll maybe throw in one more into the oven here quick. Actually no we're not gonna because I was saving up to buy well should we buy uh fuel efficiency no that's not that big of a deal i want power i want power so next episode we should have enough to get that in the cooker <laughs> uh so this is what we got for our sponsorships here what were what was i going to look at here oh yeah contracts okay wait so i need to i need to pay him 2 million i thought i was paying him 1.5 mil but regardless we have 56 days we should have enough to get him back we could honestly probably buy another thing as well but we're going to try to keep our bread up in the future to make sure we can look at that i also am definitely going to be looking at this a bit more um the highest free agent who is there anybody above this i don't think so i don't think there is no the highest free agent overall is going to be um, Nick Nick DeVry. Nick DeVry. Um, he's got a 67. I, I think he's the highest overall. Yeah, he, he should be the highest overall. Could hire Jack Aitken as well. However, I think next season we should have the opportunity to maybe sign somebody a little better. Um, like a stroll could we could we could be looking at a stroll maybe i you know i like you know i like lance stroll so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't and be on the lookout because an announcement is coming and i think you guys are going to be excited to see it that's just a little teaser but uh yeah so with that being said i hope you had a great day i will see you guys tomorrow